is the uh, role of honour, and I mean that. I, I don't imagine I agree with many of these people on, on everything or, or even perhaps on much. But cometh the hour, cometh the men, and as far as I can tell, oh no, and cometh the men and Caroline Noakes. MP. These are the 10 Tories I can identify who have correctly condemned Boris Johnson's foul lies, which led at least in part to that mob harassing and haranguing the leader of Her Majesty's opposition, Keir Starmer, Sir Keir Starmer, yesterday. We'll begin with Julian Smith, who's a former chief whip in the Conservative Party. He said, what happened to Keir Starmer tonight outside Parliament is appalling. It is really important for our democracy and for his security that the false Savile slurs made against him are withdrawn in full. I'll say that again. Former Conservative chief whip. Aaron Bell MP um, responded, Julian is right. Uh, he came in the 2019 intake, as did Robert Largan, who tweeted, I agree with Julian. Stephen Hammond, you remember him, formerly a big ally of Boris Johnson, replied, I agree with you, Robert. David Davis, again, not somebody I often have warm words to say, but today, not for the first time, he has done the right thing, telling a, 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 a fringe television station, Starmer is not guilty of anything with respect to Jimmy Savile, and that the PM should retract his comments and apologise. Roger Gale, I think, one of the people that gets described as a grandee, said that the events last night were a, quote, direct result of the deliberately careless use of language in the chamber. Tobias Elwood uh, said the Prime Minister PM apologise, please. Anthony Mangnall, uh, who has submitted his letter, as has Elwood, um, as has Roger Gale, actually, we must do better, which means leading by example in Westminster. And Simon Hoare, who uh, was one of the first to break cover, really, in criticism of Johnson's increasing uh, awfulness, retweeted Julian Smith's original tweet. Um, and Caroline Noakes has now been added to that list, making it 10 Tory MPs who have done the right thing over the Starmer incident. Um, she says, reminded of a Michael Deacon sketch from September 2019, language has consequences. Yesterday's hideous scenes outside Parliament serving as an urgent reminder that what is said inside the building reverberates outside. Let's do that again to give credit where credit is due. Julian Smith, Aaron Bell, Robert Largan, Stephen Hammond, David Davis, Roger Gale, Tobias Elwood, Anthony Mangnall, Simon Hoare and Caroline Noakes. Thank you.